Yo, what's up guys, Dex here. Hope you're all doing absolutely wonderful today. We have some super exciting news, some super exciting content to cover with Black Ops 4. And I am so incredibly excited for all things Black Ops 4 coming within the next few months. It's going to be absolutely huge. So let's try to dive into it and, and talk about some of the stuff. So one of the most important things that you guys may already be aware of, you may have already noticed... You might have saw my tweets, you might have saw my announcement on Instagram or other some other form of social media. But I've been invited to attend the Call of Duty Black Ops 4 community reveal event in Los Angeles, California. So I owe a huge special thanks to Treyarch, a huge special thanks to Activision for inviting me out and they're going to cover my costs for my flight, my hotel and all that stuff. Kind of like whenever I go and do these uh, Call of Duty DLC recording events and stuff like that. So something I'm incredibly thankful for, I'm so honored to be able to be a participant and to attend this and see this reveal of Black Ops 4 live with a whole bunch of other content creators, other Call of Duty fans, and media, industry people, like everyone's going to be there and it's going to be absolutely huge. I am so, so thankful for that. So some of the most recent information coming from Activision regarding Black Ops 4 was just announced earlier today. Um, Charlie Intel is my credit for all of this source of information. But during Activision Blizzard's financial call, Activision confirmed that they are aware of the popularity of the Battle Royale games and they're excited to see how many new people are joining the gaming world because of this game. I find that an interesting point for them to touch on because, you know, we've already had some potential leaks that Call of Duty Black Ops 4 may have a Battle Royale mode. So hearing how aware they are of Fortnite's success and how well it's been doing and, you know, just the overall Battle Royale style games is something I think is very, very interesting. And the fact that they're willing to acknowledge that during their financial call is something that you might want to make a note of. As for some of the other game modes that have been talked about, they said they've been hard at work with zombies as well as multiplayer innovations. There has been no mention yet of any kind of campaign. We know we had some leaks that said that, you know, there wasn't going to be any kind of campaign in Black Ops 4, but, you know, we still haven't heard officially yet. Um, the fact that they're trying to be innovative and, and bring trendy game modes and, and acknowledging these game modes and how they might want to bring them over to Black Ops 4 you know, there may not end up being a campaign. You know, I, I honestly would not be surprised, but I'm really, really excited to find out more, like I said, on May 17th. Uh, one, one other really interesting thing was uh, Activision was asked if Fortnite being free makes them rethink their $60 game purchase. And they basically said that, you know, there's a variety of marketing strategies. There's multiple types of games and value that exist in the industry and th that not all games have to be free to play. So they are pretty much sure that the $60 purchase for games will be continued in the future. They said this year Black Ops 4 is going to launch in October with more gameplay, more features, and more modes that fans are going to love. I think that is incredibly dope. It could kind of tie into the previous thing we just mentioned. They also said that Treyarch's Black Ops sub-franchise has over 200 million players and about 15 billion hours of playtime across all of their titles. I think that's huge. It says something about Treyarch as a whole. Treyarch does an excellent job at developing Call of Duty games, and I think that they're going to absolutely bring the absolute heat with Black Ops 4. They said they plan on being number one again with Black Ops 4. So, in my opinion, like, they have to be extremely confident in what they're about to bring before they would throw themselves out there and make them vulnerable by making a statement like that. I think that's cool. I'm excited. I like confidence. I like seeing, you know, that they have their mind where they think they want to be and that they're willing to really, really, really bring us an awesome Call of Duty game. I am very excited. So like I previously mentioned, we're going to be getting a lot of information coming up with the Call of Duty Black Ops 4 community reveal event on May 17th. The, the live stream, we're going to be able to check this out at 10 a.m. Pacific time, 1 p.m. Eastern. Make sure you guys are following along. I will try to tweet as much stuff as I can, but once I'm in the venue, there's no telling what kind of service I may have. I may not be able to, to live tweet. So make sure you, know, you tune into the live streams. I will definitely tweet out any kind of information that I can provide you guys with as well and I'll obviously be covering anything that I can and anything that I find out in videos post the event you know I don't know what, what like what all we might get to see images you know a different I don't know if we get to play the game like I don't know what's about to go down 
but literally I will share anything with you guys I'm going to be doing a vlog for my entire trip you know I don't know that I will be able to record once I'm inside of the venue but you know anything anything that I can tell you guys any kind of information I'm gonna be sharing with you so make sure you like this video make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you're new coming across my content because this is gonna be exciting time the next few months are gonna get extremely busy we're gonna have a lot of information dropping you know prior to the beta post beta during the beta content you know it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun time and I am very 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 excited and I hope you guys are as excited as I am for Black Ops 4 because like I said Treyarch does does a great job so definitely 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 jump on board with my channel and for that um, you know and with the event you guys there are it's me and I believe uh, four or five other carnage guys that are, that are getting invited so that's gonna be a super super cool experience as well I know oceans going Apollo uh, espresso dismo um, you know and I don't know who else might be able to jump in you know who else might be able to swing something later on but it's gonna be something really cool man we're gonna be able to like I said do some vlogs maybe make some videos if we have some time to all hang out and chill and kind of showcase some of the carnage personality around the team you know something a little bit extra than just Call of Duty or Fortnite content you know I think that's gonna be really cool you know you can see us hanging out and chilling and you know hopefully rocking our carnage jerseys or some gear something like that so definitely um, Man, I'm so excited, you guys. Seriously, so I wanna, I wanna just give a little shout out. I wanna thank you guys for, for supporting me, you know, for so many years, for, for supporting my Call of Duty content, for supporting me whenever I venture into Fortnite and do different things. You know, a lot of this stuff and and being able to build a community is is because of you guys. You know, like. Yeah, I'm here. I, I make a video. I'm, I'm here doing live streams, but the community that we build and the way we engage and and grow together and and you know welcome new members to the community in and and spread Call of Duty news around and and all that stuff. It all pieces together. So literally, a community is nothing without every piece of the puzzle. You know what I'm saying? So like me just being a streamer, if if we weren't able to build a community around our vision and and what we like, you know, within the gaming community, we don't we don't have a whole lot. So you know, I really owe like a, a really honest, a really sincere thank you to each and every one of you guys that that support me and and have you know if you're new if you're a new subscriber if you are someone that's been around since I started in like 2014, um, you're you're all appreciated and I, I really 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 thank you guys so um, I, I really appreciate it man I love you guys y'all are awesome so let's get some uh, some Dex love down in the chat you know if you're if you come to my my live streams I'm definitely doing that little. Uh, the little emo right there, the Dex love. So let's get some Dex love down in the comments. If you're about this vision, if you're about the movement, if you're having a good time, if you've made it this far in the video, well, I freaking love your face. So you guys, I hope you have a great rest of your day. I hope you're gonna be on board with this content coming up in the future. Um, enjoy the rest of the gameplay and I'll catch you guys soon for another live stream or another video. Be sure to like, be sure to thumbs up, be sure to subscribe, and I will catch you guys here very soon. Have a great rest of your day, peace. Just the key. 
secured. Great job. Maximized abilities means maximum victories. Spectre killed. Bunch of obsoletes. You fought pretty well.